welcome back to the channel. This is your host, Chris McCrory with Shadows Techland. Uh, one of the things that you'll run into when it comes to home lab or even a corporate environment is having a lot of security tools, and that can be kind of a pain to manage everything due to the fact that you have several different tools that do different things. But that being said, one of the things that security tools lack is the ability to have a unified platform that can do a lot of everything kind of in one area. Now, one of the tools that I've been messing with is uh, Alien Vault, which is part of the uh, AT&T Cybersecurity. And what it's basically trying to do is unify everything kind of all into one platform. That way you don't have a lot of different areas that you do have to go in order to basically monitor and do your job. One of the things that Alien Vault is trying to basically uh, Fix is the ability to have asset discovery, vulnerability assessment, intrusion detection, behavioral monitoring, and SEIM event correlation. Now, one of the cool things that I do like about Alien Vault is the fact that it does have a basically essential security, it has a unified platform, and also the fact that it has a threat exchange. That basically, what that exchange is, is it's a community whether it's a user, individual, a company, cybersecurity research, security individuals themselves, they've built threats that have rules that you can subscribe to that do various different things and they're all free. You don't have to pay for them, which is really cool. So you can go ahead and subscribe to as many as you want. Obviously, the more you subscribe to, and the more that you have it doing, the more resources that are basically going to be needed in order to do a job due to the fact that it has more monitoring and more rules to go ahead and basically deactivate them. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll pull mine up. Unfortunately, I had to reinstall it due to the fact that I ran into some issues. So I don't have agents set up for the various devices on my network. So I won't be able to go into all details with you, but I can definitely give you guys a brief overview of the product itself. Now, you can go ahead and you can download the ISO. It is free. You'll just have to sign up for an account and then go ahead and activate it and then you can download the ISO and install it. Uh, I have mine on Proxmox. You can use Proxmox, Hyper-V, or any other virtual um, product that's out there. Uh, the main dashboard that you'll run into, you go to Overview here. Obviously you can see I don't have a lot of information on mine because like I said I don't have my agents set up at this time. I just reinstalled it the other day. But it's definitely very interesting. You can set up alarms, uh, security events, uh, triggers, and it can do a lot of detection for you. One of the things that is really cool is the threat intelligence and the uh, open threat exchange. You can see here. So as an example, um, there is crypto jacking worm target Docker demons, so if you're running Docker on your network, um, 2020 campaign, uh, India-China border dispute to lower victims, and you can go ahead and you can get a little bit of information when it was created, who it was created by, and a ransom campaign, so if you go ahead and do view, this will pull up actually um, which campaign it is, in this case it's the uh, Yellowfield, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm probably butchering that. Active ransom campaign. It will basically um, indicate what indicators there are, what type it is, the title, when it was added, if it's active, um, how many related pulses that there are, and the pulse is basically the subscription you are um, subscribing to or what it is that whatever the device or rule is set up to do. So in case, in this one, this is like I said, a ransom campaign. You can go ahead and you can download it. And then you can go ahead. Sometimes you'll have the ability to just subscribe right to it and it'll add it. Then you'll have to basically make sure that it's deployed using the agents uh, or whether it's Windows or Linux and you'll have to make sure that you put in your particular credentials for that, which I'll go over in a second. So there is absolutely pages and pages and pages and pages that you can go through and add, depending on what it is that you are trying to 
prevent or have detection against, whether it's malware, um, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin scams, um, any vulnerabilities like the Intel vulnerabilities for that have happened, uh, fraudulent software bundles. There's everything you could possibly think of in here, which is really interesting, obviously. And then once you go ahead and sign up for your account, then at that point in time, you would basically just import your key from the uh, website itself, which after you log in. To And then of course there's maps for vulnerability, uh, how many D DDoS attacks are going on. Um, you can set up reports for overviews of whatever it is that you're looking for. Uh, under assets and groups, now when you first go ahead and set up, so you'll boot into the ISO, you'll install it, you'll configure it for whatever your network credentials and network information is, so whatever IP scheme that you're using, DNS, time zone, all of that good jazz. And then once you boot into it, then you will be given this screen and you will be setting up your IP address. And whatever IP address that you use during the install is what you'll be logging into. And then after the first initial login, at that point in time, you'd be setting up your username and password. And then it will give you a wizard that you can go through to go ahead and first of all, um, are you on a domain? Are you on a work group? Um, what network schemes that you're using? And you can also go ahead and configure your network there. And then it will automatically go through and do a discovery of whatever IP range that you give for your IP scheme. And it will go through and tell you what devices that are actively running or not running. And as you can see, I have several pages here. So in order to go ahead and deploy, depending on if this is a Windows, Linux environment, whatever the case may be, you would need to basically go into one of them here. Uh, see anything I recommend at the moment. Trying to find one of my hosts so I can go over. So as an example here, we can do deploy. So under actions, you can do edit, delete. You can do a asset scan, a vulnerability scan. You can deploy the agent to the device, like I said, whether it's Windows or Linux environment. And then you can enable availability of monitoring. Now, obviously, in the order to do monitoring, you'd have to have the agent itself installed. And then at this point in time, you would go ahead and deploy HID agent. So if you're on a domain, you'd put in your domain credentials there. And then the username and password of that device, not the device of Alien Vault or whatever machine that you're logged into, but the actual device itself that you are trying to install the agent for. So whatever those credentials are, you would put that in. See if I can find Windows.
Man, it looks like it's having some issues at this point installing. Let's see. For some reason, I am having some issues installing that, so unfortunately I will not be able to go over that in, in general, but at this point in time you kind of get the idea. Um, this basically is a platform that you can use that you can go ahead and scan your network, add in the devices, and then you would have go ahead and put in the credentials, that way you can go ahead and add those devices as a monitoring device that you want to have listen on your network. And then you can set up reports and subscriptions or pulses through the threat exchange that you can use to monitor those set devices that you've added to your network for whatever vulnerability it is, whether it's malware, security, or any other threats that you deem uh, necessary. I will leave a link in the description. That way you guys can go ahead and check out more about it and also go ahead and sign up for an account and try it out yourself. If you guys have any other questions, definitely feel free to leave any comments in the video itself or go ahead and reach out to me on my social media. Otherwise, have a great day and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.